brewers know the sugary wort needs to eventually be separated from the wetted grain. This process is known as the louder. Before the wort can be sent into the next vessel, the boil kettle, it is typically recirculated through this grain bed. This process is known as vorlaufing. At this step, the brewer is essentially using grain present in the mash tun to act as a filter for the wort. The vorlauf serves to clarify the wort and further develop the grain bed. Wort moves from the mash tun's false bottom to the mash tun's true bottom. False bottom is a screened bottom that allows wort to pass through. While retaining most of the grain, the true bottom typically has multiple, evenly spaced outlets that all feed into one central bottom pipe. This pipe then typically flows into a vessel known as the grant tank. While gravity can be used to get the wort from the mash tun to the grant, a centrifugal pump must be used to get it back to the top of the mash bed. This pump delivers wort through an external Vorlauf pipe to the top of the mash tun. The Vorlauf outlet this pump feeds to is typically centered right above the mash bed and delivers wort to a dispersion plate that evenly, and hopefully, gently, adds it back to the mash tun. Brewers try to minimize splashing, vigorous stirring, and fast pump speeds at this point in the process. Much like mash rest time, Vorlauf time will vary by brewery and recipe. With the boom of hazy IPAs, Vorlauf cycles may be no longer than five minutes, or ruled out altogether likewise. Brilliantly clear styles may see upwards of 30-minute Vorlauf cycles. Following desired clarity or a set time, the brewer is ready to switch from the sub-step of Vorlaufing to the main step. Loudering. Wort flow is redirected from the Vorlauf loop to the boil kettle. This redirection may be as simple as switching a couple of valves. The grant tank pump now sends the flow from the bottom of the mash tun to the bottom of the boil kettle, gradually filling it up. These first trickles of wort entering the boil kettle are known as first runnings. A first running sample may be taken and is often a good first indicator of brew house efficiency. Eventually, the grain bed will become exposed after much of the wort has been transferred to the boil kettle. Hot sparge water is then added on top of the grain bed to avoid air exposure, as well as to rinse the many sugar molecules left behind.